let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a really big bottle of Heronic Triple by the Side Launch Brewing Company out of Collingwood, Ontario. This was sent to me by the awesome folks over at Side Launch in Collingwood, Ontario. Just like this shirt and this glass. First brewery to ever contact Redbeard and ask if they could send me anything. And like, you'll always have a pretty goddamn special place in my heart, Side Launch. Seriously. Like, you're, you're far away, but someday I will get in and do like, I want to do some kind of on location, really, really cool vlog at your brewery someday. So many breweries I want to do that at. Bottle cap, super, super exciting. It's red. Uh, there will most definitely be a big fat break taken during this vlog. I'm probably going to like drink pretty much, I'll drink a bit until we get to the you know, that eight minute or so mark, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. And uh, then I'll come back for like the last little bit. We'll do a swish, because I assume this being a Huronic triple, triple makes me think sediment, yeast, Belgian. Sorry about the uh, gassiness of me. I've done a, I did a vlog not too long ago. Let's crack this open and let's see. That was, that was a bad shot. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible shot. See what we got. I'm assuming that the first glass here be not super unclear, but once we get to that bottom area, like I said, where there might be some sediment, then clarity may be compromised. Look at that beautiful pour. Let's get a picture of that right now. She is pretty much clear, little tiny you can still see me through there but there is like the slightest bit of haziness to it no bubbles that a couple really really kind of lazy slow moving carbonation in there easily a finger of head or more not really sure what i'm getting right there I want to say like may maybe a bit of like orangey aroma or something. Some kind of like spiciness. Yeah, like all spice or something maybe. I'm not sure. It doesn't smell bad, but it smells a, a, li a little Belgian with the spiciness. Could be yeast yeasty spiciness that I'm smelling right there. Let's give her a shot. Definitely a little bit of a yeasty beer, but it's not bad. I am slowly, so slowly coming around. No, I'm, I don't think I'll ever love it, but I'm coming around to the point where I can say, yeah, that wasn't bad. That was okay with a bit, uh, uh, as far as a yeasty beer goes. I just realized right now, I don't know if you can see that, but. I was attacked by my sister's boyfriend's cat earlier today. Not attacked, I, I was provoking him. I was playing with the cat. I was, uh, cats are fun. Some of them like to play rough. His cat likes to play rough, so I play just as rough. I had gloves on, but apparently he got past my glove. I didn't even notice that until now. Huh, huh, good stuff. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and a ginormous cheers to everybody over there, actually, one tiny second. Still have the card that you sent me. Bianca. Bianca. I'm pretty sure it's Bianca. I still don't know how to pronounce your name. But you, cheers to you and everybody you work with. The fine people over at Side Launch are just great, great people. The beard loves you all so very much. I love this beer, but 
again it's not terrible it's not bad it's just kind of not for me the uh the triple triple styles any any belgian yeasty kind of beer just isn't really my forte i hope for it to someday become my forte let's read this without spilling anything shall we uh no preservatives Side Launch Brewery opened its doors in 2014 with the goal of providing Ontario with wonderfully complex and highly drinkable beer. The name Side Launch comes from Collingwood's rich history in shipbuilding that started in the late 1800s. We have brewed the first of our launch series, Huronic, a Belgian-style triple that will run your palate around with flavor notes of orange, mango, and three different hops. Come celebrate. This is coming in at 9.5% ABV. I do have to say, side launch, your, your lack of ingredients on here is uh, a, a bit of a disappointment. I can understand the lack of a date, kind of, because this is like your, it's, it's easy to find out when this was made. Like, all things said and done by the end here, I'm going to give you a pass on your lack of a date, but I'm going to have to knock 0.5 off for the lack of ingredients. Just, I can't, I can't, I love you. I love you all. But, like, I'm unbiased. I cannot play favorites. No, won't happen. So like I said, like, even like this beer. Like, I love you all. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. But, It's just not my my style of beer. It actually makes me kind of sad. I'm not like right here. Uh, I I'm getting the orange notes. I'm not getting mango notes. I wish I was. Let me let me, let me look for mango here, specifically for the mango. <laughs> After random mustache hair falls into my mouth, that was beautiful. maybe a little bit of mango in there but I'm used to the kind of mango aromas and like flavors you can get out of an IPA so this very very different style right here uh, I've now been recording for 10 minutes and 45 seconds so we're gonna take a bit of a break and like a watch the clock right there and you'll see it's gonna be a decent break <laughs> And I'm going to come back with a little bit left in here that I can then pour the Swiss around bottom of there in and we'll see. Oh, random kind of almost hiccups happening. And we'll see what happens with that. So I'll be back. So I took a good long time. And I'm going to say overall, I, I more or less did enjoy this beer. I'm very much not a sober individual anymore though. So, you know, it's, I guess I have recorded a vlog before I did this and then I did this. You see now how it's, it's more or less clear right now. This is the end right here. And uh, it definitely made it more hazy but not like not as much as I thought it might I want to say like did we get the bottom of the bottle it does look pretty clean now so any sediment that wasn't there I don't know why this isn't up there already but uh silosbrewing dot com or a, dot com we'll take it to silosbrewing dot com and uh, reviews for this beer should also be taken care of. Untapped, 3.73 out of 5. 708 ratings overall. Not bad. 
Beer Advocate, 3.73 out of 5. A whole six ratings over there. <sighs> Sorry. Ugh. Sorry. This beer has made me drunk, and I now kind of just want to go to bed. <laughs> Good bedtime beer. Let's give this a shot now with its new yeastiness. Definitely a bit more of that yeasty flavor with that last little bit. But overall, like it's it's surprisingly not bad for a Belgian style kind of beer. Let's just do this. Drink number the last. Side launch. Your heronic trip your heronic triple. The first version of your Ships of Collingwood series. Like, I love this whole concept you got going on. But like, next time, go for a stout or like a double IPA. I've never had an IPA from you. Side launch IPA doesn't exist. I would like to see that. That'd be cool. Or even stout. I've never had a stout by you. Regardless, side launch, this beer rating... I'm gonna say uh, seven. Would have bumped it up to 7.5 if those ingredients, like I said, I'm giving you a pass on the date because I'm nice like that. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drunk Vlog. Thanks for watching. If, you know, you wanna be a fan, hit the likes up button, the like button. You know, like the, the button with the like, the thumbs up thing? Yeah, to do that. And if you wanna see more, then Click on the subscribe thing. And if you want to talk to me, put comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another video vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Yeah, not sober. The end of that was just terrible.